Good morning, scholars. We are going to read another Scaredy Squirrel book today. Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone brush their teeth with germ-fighting toothpaste before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend by Melanie Watt. Scaredy Squirrel doesn't have a friend. He'd rather be alone than risk encountering someone dangerous. A squirrel could get bitten. A few individuals Scaredy Squirrel is afraid to be bitten by. Beavers, walruses, bunnies, piranhas, Godzilla. So Scaredy Squirrel finds interesting ways to pass the time all by himself. He reads, he whistles, he knits, he chats, he crafts, he yawns, he counts, until one day he spots someone perfectly safe. The perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Bubbly personality, squeaky clean, quiet, no teeth, germ free, doesn't do much but is 100% safe. A few items Scaredy Squirrel needs to make the perfect friend. Lemon, name tag, mittens, comb, mirror, air freshener, toothbrush, chew toy. How to make the perfect first impression. Prepare freshly squeezed lemonade. Make sure name tag is visible. Tame bad hair. Brush teeth thoroughly and practice smile. Check for nutty breath and food caught between teeth. Wear mittens to hide sweaty paws. Use pine scent to smell delightful. Follow the perfect plan. The perfect plan. Step one, toss down chew toy to distract biters. Step two, use mirror to check hair and teeth. Step three, run to fountain. Step four, point to name tag and smile. Step five, offer lemonade. Step six, make the perfect friend. Don't talk to suspicious bunnies. Stay away from piranha infested ponds. Beware of walruses. They're fast on their flippers. Avoid beavers. They can snap at any moment. Watch out for Godzilla for obvious reasons. But let's say, just for example, that Scaredy Squirrel did come face to face with a potential biter. He knows exactly what not to do. Do not show fear. Do not show your fingers. Do not make eye contact. Do not make any loud noises. If all else fails, play dead. And hand over the test. Scaredy's risk test. Who are you? How many teeth do you have? What is your hobby? What do you see? With every detail under control, Scaredy Squirrel puts the plan into action. First, he tosses the chew toy. Then he heads down the tree. Everything is perfect until he hears a strange sound coming from behind. Squeak! And he realizes... It's a dog! This was not part of the plan! The dog chases Scaredy around the bush, around the fountain, and around in circles with Scaredy until Scaredy Squirrel plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. After all this time, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the dog doesn't want to bite him. He just wants a friend. Scaredy Squirrel points to his name tag and smiles. Then he starts chasing his new buddy. They play fetch, they play hide and seek, and they play dead. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the goldfish, 
not to mention the walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, and Godzilla. Time flies when you're having fun. All this excitement exp inspires Scaredy Squirrel to make a few minor changes to his idea of a friend. My almost perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Muddy paws, loud bark, drool, tooth, wet doggy smell, germs, 83% safe, but lots of fun. P.S. As for the wet doggy smell, it's been taken care of. Alright, scholars, I hope that you enjoyed this Scaredy Squirrel story, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!